Uh, I have no idea as to how laggy this would be. And I've been on it, it only said about a 300 bit weight. So yeah, it could be mad or it might not. I don't know. We'll find out as the stream goes on. So, if it, like, it's on really, but not as long as we normally do, but still on. But yeah. Let's see, let's get this bit up. And I think it's already glitching. Could be the laptop though. I never know with these whether it's glitching because the stream's glitching or if it's glitching because the laptop is with it. Because the laptop is several years old. Okay, so this works like this. Let's test out that this works and during it kind of tell stories. Whilst we've been. Alright, so six, seven. So when I was in the creative world, because I was testing out the water feature a bit, this wasn't working. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we've only got seven at the moment. Lost beds. It's one of the beds. So we're going to kill all of these and then I will check through them. I probably turned them. Or did I? Oh, sugar. I did it that way. Okay. Hold on, stream. Alright, so. That one. But. Hi, Wigwim. That's okay. Um, that golem was just on fire. But, okay. So now if I do... Where is it? Uh, yep, so I want this bit. And then... Okay. Right. Might be the second option of unplugging and replugging in the headset. Because it's showing the headset. Okay, I'm going to plug in this side. Okay, headset. Headset, headset mute. I kind of turned down the volume on the to zero, which is why it wasn't working. Great. Works. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. If, if this still works, it's fine. I know it's already there's none when there should be some spawning. So kind of, I might have to grab some more beds. A bit more Minecraft because it could just be that they're going. Okay, just got three more to kill. Two more. And Okay. And now we wait. That's all we can do. Wait to see if any spawn in. And actually, in the meantime, I'm going to close up this. At least, if they do spawn in, we don't accidentally miss them. And the stream is glitching. Looks like I'm adding Ethernet to... Oh. Yeah. Because I get a load of money come from the... Currently, I've got... New watch, because it broke. And... I've got Ethernet cable to add. I might have to stream in the way. Stream in the front room. And if that changes anything, be clear. If it does, then need an Ethernet cable. If not, which. And then I will be even more when my mom. She doesn't like screwing. 
Oh, well. So, one I can tell straight away. I was at church yesterday when I noticed that was it well part of the doesn't sit in where it should be. So then I kind of I thought, okay, well this is a, was it doing took the strap the plastic bit that sits on it it was it came larger and just in the strap. Leaving just the copper. So the itself recent so that's still at full charge. I can use it because I cut up the strap to put the copper the strap in case it breaks them even more. And then I don't want to put the copper bits for when it does one. I don't want to up because if I put the copper bits in the and then that goes kind of thin, it could break it or start a fire potentially. So currently I watch and I've gone times when I haven't worn my watch before. Except if now that I can't, I've noticed it a lot that I keep going to check the and it's like, oh wait, yeah. I can't check it. Well, I can. I can check it on my phone or on the Xbox bits or lap. I can't check it on my wrist and notice it so much. So, yeah, that was going to be a Christmas thing. It was. I put it down to the house. If it was over twenty quid, then it would be a Christmas thing. Under, then it would be a payday thing. And as it is, it the one I want to, which does more apparently, um, is fifteen quid. So. As much as I could potentially, well, I could get it with the bills, even with the bills that have yet to come out. I could afford to get it. Barely, I'd have about 30 quid left after the bills in came out. I'm going to save it as an after pay day thing because I want to be saving for Christmas. So that's got to be saved up. And then, oh yeah, I've got new shoes to get after pay day as well. Because so... I always find it weird when people go out and buy new shoes constantly because shoes for me they've always been over 40 quid so it's always been right you get a pair of shoes you make them last you wear them until you can't wear them at all kind of thing because of how much they cost it's, we can't afford to go out and get say, one new pair yeah they're just too expensive. so I've still my mum's adopted my mum's changed that attitude slightly she gets them if she thinks she needs them. So if they start to go, then she'll get new ones. Whereas me, I've got so my current pair of shoes in both of up and has hole in. Well, not the sole, um, the inner sole bit that your actual foot on the that part of it. So that's coming up. It's got both of them have got holes in. Um, my left shoe has a hole that goes all the way through the shoe, so you can poke your finger out the other side. And the sole is more or less not there. Oh yeah, I still wear them. They're my best pair of shoes. It's like, they're still in good condition. It's really, as much as they've got holes in and the bits are falling up, the sole has started coming away from the shoe. So, that's fine. I've had shoes before where, it's like my last pair of shoes I chucked was because there was a giant hole in the bottom um, the sole, the inner sole was non-existent, that just wasn't there, there were small patches of it and the actual sole bottom was coming up by fence. That was when I went, yep I'm going to chuck that and get a new pair of shoes. We, a good couple of years ago we tend to get, get a new pair of shoes either once a year or once every two years. Unless for a work event, and then I'll get it kind of, then I'll get a new pair of shoes. I won't get a new pair of shoes. Because it's just, they're, they're way too expensive. So it's sure, the more expensive it is, the longer it lasts, but over 40 quid for a pair of shoes. It's like, seriously? Who has the money to go and just spend 40 quid really nearly? So, yeah. Shoes take a back burner. Clothes are very much the same. I kind of get clothes there. Kind of because of my age bits. We're not really growing anymore. I tend to get clothes about... We'll get new clothes once a year maybe. Maybe twice a year. Depends on how I feel. Kind of thing. I don't feel the need to go out and just get... 
So I kind of I've got clothes that I like and I love to wear and I will just wear those clothes. So once you've got an outfit style that you like you'd for constantly going out and getting new clothes because it, it is just not needed. Although some people do go out and get several pairs, it's like, yeah, don't need them. Yeah, and I reckon we did lose some beds. Great. Because I was testing it out on, so I had ideas of how I could automate it. And I was testing it out, I got it all laid out perfectly, but they weren't spawning in. And I reckon that we've, I know that I've kind of lost beds whilst I was placing them in this shape. Which is annoying because I now know how to, I now have have no idea how many beds there are. And I have to go out and try and get more beds. I've got no idea how many I need. And the machine's lagging massively, so with the trapdoors shut they'll be fine. The golems don't despawn, I don't think. I haven't seen any despawn, so we're gonna go down here. Go kill some sheep. Get some more beds. Oh we've got oh we've got one we've got two beds on us. Okay, um we're just gonna go back up quickly. Just in case it was we're short by two beds. Because if so, then we solved the problem and we don't have to try and guess how many beds we need. Okay, so we're going to wait in this and hope that this is the right number of beds now and that it's broken but that we don't need to go and kill some more sheep for them. The iron farm, the iron farm stopped working which I discovered on the creative world. At first was just, how I thought at first it was an auto process that kind of stopped it from working but I've when I was then doing it, I placed down some more beds and because I replaced the bed after, in case it was it kind of reset their bits and that started spawning in, which made me realise that have all of the beds, it wasn't enough for them. So when I replaced them, it still wasn't going, but when I started to, they kept themselves the beds, which made me realise that kind of, there wasn't enough beds in there. Which was annoying because I then started doing that and yeah, around six on the craving bits until I think it was half ten I logged off, half ten eleven hours odd trying to get to work where I was just in how far the redstone signal would go where I would be putting the wool, you could push it, push them in because it'll give a base system, say, them in when we want because you can't leave it going, otherwise they just don't so I'm hoping that this is enough beds and then we can throw up some more let's see, we need more clay and we need more wood but we'll go for the clay first let's see, so I downloaded a new game called I Am Fish. It's kind of so I'd seen a stream I watched play it before, and back then when I saw him play it, well not a stream I watch, YouTube I watch. He watched he played it on the PC. So going to, my laptop isn't strong enough to run PC, but it's it barely it's barely strong enough to run a singular Twitch stream. When I try and do multiple to give people kind of the pity few bits for the MCC, it crashes. It doesn't handle it. But it is a good, let's see, we were in lockdown for two years. I had it through both my years of sixth form. I had it for at least year 11. So it's a good five or six years old, the laptop. So I'm not expecting it to be massively good. Which, as it is, it started to have more problems recently. So, the number lock bind, the image for it, 
will just pop up and then stay up for a while. It also had the cat pop up and stay up for a while. But the image of it just stays there, so you're holding it down, but you're not touching it. So it's, it's really kind of... The laptop's really trying to tell us that it's not doing well. I can't do anything about it at the moment. One spawned in. It's working. The farm is working. It's very slowly, but it's working. Oh yeah, um... I decided to put these bits on here purely so that the cats wouldn't kind of hide in with the villagers. But the, the iron farm's working. Oh. I, I can't believe it's working. Okay, so it must be the correct number of beds now then. Because it wouldn't spawn, it needs one bed, so if you have more villages than beds, then it stops it. So it must be that it's just starting, it must just be restarting itself. Okay. We're going to leave that open and we're going to go start mining some bits. Oh yeah, we got some more bookcases, or some more bookshelves. So what we're going to do is build a little enchantment room off to the side of the house. So I'm thinking, we want to have a nice view. So this brings us that way. This brings us to desert. This will bring us to farm and forest. So we could do it on this side because no, we we'll want to keep an eye on that. Uh, we'll go up with it. So we're going to end up destroying this. But that's fine. Unless we do a water elevator up here. Because you could use the magma and the kind of other block, um, what is it, um, and no, soul sand, not slow sand, soul sand, to build, to, to go up here, and then if we, this is just a rough thing, um, it's, we'll just, this is literally, it is just in rough at the moment, a rough idea of what it will be like, so, don't mind the blocks too much, it's kind of, it is just very much a, oh, we're just experimenting, see how it would look. But yeah, because I'm thinking we'll build the enchantment room up here, and then that way, if we do this bit, uh, grab that one, yep, it did grab it, okay. So if we build the enchantment room up, where's, it's this one. That bit like that. Obviously, this is not going to be the finished design because this looks awful. This is just blocks that I had on me that are going to be building a rough outline. Uh, and then I've got these ones. Okay, so it comes out one, two, three. One, two. Oh, sugar. One button. Oh, and then, so, last night that I watched, so, after MCC, well, during the MCC bits, I was like, right, if Green wins this, then I will kind of watch one of his videos. And, lo and behold, Green won. Well, Green's team won, so it's like, okay, I... I didn't mean to place that there. Oh well. So, okay. Now I have to watch one of his videos, which I'd always refuse. I was always just like, never watching one of the Hermitcraft videos. Right, I'm not going to like them, I'm not going to watch them. And then watched it, and it, it, it's one of those things. It wasn't 
bad, but at the same time it wasn't good in a way. So I liked it, but I wasn't overly thrilled by it. Other than that, it was slightly good. Made me laugh a tiny bit, but not much. Well, also didn't help for his case on whether or not it made me laugh being the fact that my mum was in. Because I don't laugh when she's in. And I, I've messed up just massively. Well, there we go. So we can dump bits in here. Uh, we'll make these two into sticks as well. Because we're going to need a lot of... There we go. A lot of shovels. Make a couple more. Okay. So we're going after the clay bits first. Because it's kind of those will be easier to get. So now we've got that. Let's just go get the donkey. Where it's still in peaceful so we don't have to worry about mobs. Kind of, I won't be taking it off of peaceful until it's kind of, until it's done. But until both, until the farm's done and then it can come off peaceful. I don't know, it's like, I don't understand how some of the other streamers are like, oh yeah, kind of, he sounds like an American trying to sound British because his accent... I'm quite sure it's just where he's from a different part of Britain to I am. Or to England. Kind of bit, but his accent sounded so weird. It did not sound British at all. If anything, his friend had a more British sounding accent than he did. It's like, how? How, how does his friend's, friend sound more British than I think his friend is American? I, I don't get it. But other than that, they were good, although I didn't like how much they cut out of the video because it was a half an hour video and he cut out the majority of his mining, kind of majority of getting bits. So he kept saying, oh yeah, it's been another day since then and he would go from having nothing to then all of a sudden he had kind of stacks of the different ores and then also had a fortune pickaxe so he just ended up returning it's like yeah it's the kind of side of bits that i try to avoid so i never liked to cut bits out of my videos that was always why kind of it had to be a certain but it had to be correct first time because i didn't want to cut bits out and so far, apart from when I've been doing big projects and kind of I've now come to doing them on here, purely so that it's not as long of a video because no one wants to watch an hour long video. But it's kind of on the, so yeah, the building bits, so these longer bits that you're seeing on here is what I try to video except otherwise it would be an hour long because my YouTube video I aim to be for them to be 30 minutes kind of thing doesn't matter if it goes a few minutes over but I aim for it to be 30 minutes and all that we've done so if this was a YouTube video I would be thinking about ending it and all that we've done is Abuse the donkey and getting it here. Uh, refix the iron farm. And that's it. We, we haven't done anything else. This would be a 30 minute recording session. Of wasted. So I would put this out and. It would just be this. Which is why I started doing it on tricks because. On here I can just talk during it, I can use this as kind of background movement to just tell story bits, which 
as you've come to realize i love telling stories and i don't have to worry about how long it's taken me until it reaches the two hours mark and then i do because the laptop because the internet doesn't like two hour streams okay do this bit go up some air And go. I couldn't resist that bit of clay. So we are going to do that. So what we're going to do is do that bit and then we go like this. So now we will only be able to pick up clay. It'll make kind of gathering it easier. Alright. So yeah, so they cut out a lot of stuff which I do find annoying because as much as I'm quite sure they're reputative people and they do go after, I'm quite sure they do actually go after the materials themselves. It does just make me think, well, hang on, have you actually mined all of those resources yourself? Or have you gone and given it in creative? Because on PC edition, something you can do is give the person the items and it still gives so if it's an achievement item it would still give them the achievement for getting it even if it was kind of given by kind of console bits which on xbox it cancels it out as soon as any of the players on there go into creative or activate commands it cancels it out well that got lucky Which is annoying because then means that, so like with gathering up the clay, if I wasn't so hit up on getting achievements, then I would kind of just go into creative and give myself the resources for it, just so that it would be done quicker. But because it takes away the achievements, it means that where it should take, where it could take, say, I think it took about and now and a half in total building it in the creative world kind of thing it means that instead it takes several hours because it's several trips back and forth of collecting the materials waiting for the materials to smelt which is what i do when i do afk bits i so i stand next to the smelter and then i do bits on my phone for however long it takes and occasionally move the character around a bit just set the controller just set the game thinks i'm alive and then other than that don't do anything else and actually i'm gonna grab this portal see what's in here quickly see if there's anything good but yeah i do that which is why i try to do the afk bits off stream just because of how mundane it is so it is just me sitting there it's like not interacting with anything for a couple of hours because each item takes 10 seconds to smelt so then i've started using lava buckets so if i have kind of my full inventory and this bit as well let's see so it's 27 and then if i have that bit full makes that to what is it i have 45 and then this one is 15 so that's 60 slots all full up and if they're all stacked so 640 per stack uh 640 times 60 um nope i'm gonna work that out in my head so 600 times 640 times 6 is let's see so we've got 36 and then 44 times 6 24 so 3600 for 240 makes 3800 so 38,000 seconds kind of thing that I would have to wait for which is then nope screw that I'm not working that out on ah okay 
more or less it is a lot of minutes. I've realised the moment I go to work it out. So difficult. Yeah, so it, it is a lot of minutes. It takes hours, kind of thing. Because, especially if I don't look up at it regularly enough. So, as soon as it comes up with your controllers disconnected, or as soon as it thinks you're not kind of doing anything, and it goes into its pause phase, and the world moves on, moves on and carries on. But whatever's smelting stops. It's really weird. So it semi pauses the world, being that if you're smelting something, it stops. But the animals and the wildlife and the time of the day keeps going. So, kind of, you can't really do it so much in survival unless you block yourself when it's on easy or pe easy kind of bets. So anything other than peaceful, you do just need to block yourself in for that time and kind of hope that the grievers decide to blow up near you because otherwise you you're screwed really. At least on peaceful there's no mobs spawning in so you don't have to worry about kind of where you're placed. But no, on the other bits you have to worry exactly about where your character's placed because I've had it happen before where I've gone AFK and then kind of I haven't realised that the controller's gone off so I think I fell asleep during it as well but because the mobs kept going on uh, they spawned in and killed my character my character died uh, trying to figure out where we are just a second at the moment yeah my character died I then because I hadn't noticed okay there's a charging dock for it there we go so yeah so because I hadn't noticed I lost what took about three four hours worth of at least materials that it took to gather because it carried so even though it was on the respawn screen it took it as your character was still loading in the blocks so then because I was still loading it in it registered once it had reached the five minutes it registered that those items had been there for five minutes and they despawned and it was so annoying I actually it was with this world and I nearly deleted it because of that if it wasn't for the fact so I had diamond tools and if it wasn't for the fact that I had the hope that I could kind of get them back I would have deleted it I would have just gone nope screw it this world is gone As it is, I had hope I could get them back, so I kept on going. I figured, oh, okay. So like a couple of pickaxe bits at the diamonds. Other than that, mainly stone bits. So it won't be that hard. No, since then, I have not found a single diamond. So I think I'm, I, I think I'm just, well, I have massively bad luck when it comes to finding diamonds in this. But I had one world where I got lucky with diamond finding and I think I found enough for a full set of diamond armour. And that was it. That was kind of about it that I found. I had enough for a full set of diamond armour and a full set of diamond tools and then a few jukeboxes. And that was the most I'd found in the world. Everything else was always iron, uh, now copper, but it was always iron, redstone and lapis. That was all I would ever find. It's like, seriously? How is it so difficult? Let's 
kind of makes me envious of all the ones who kind of all the times on stream where people are just like oh, okay just gonna mine here and then they end up finding about three or four veins of diamonds where they're all kind of five all about eight vein and it's like seriously how did you manage to find those but oh well the quote a really good song that's just the game I do, however, find a lot more villages than the average player. So I kind of weigh it out as so I don't find the diamonds so often, but I do find the villages. That doesn't mean I get good trades, but still, I find the villages. So I've never had a single world where I haven't, within the first hour plane, found at least one village. It's just never been the way. Although I'm only counting the ones where I haven't deliberately chosen to start with a village. Because I always choose to start with a village. I always pick a world seed that has you start off nearby to a village. That way you can go there and if you get lucky with the drops from it, you've got your iron tools straight away. It kind of it cuts out a lot of middle ground time. some monster sanctuary yesterday don't worry i haven't leveled up the well they have leveled up i haven't spent the skill points and we didn't get any eggs also haven't explored anywhere new all i've done is kind of played a few battles to try and get them some more experience that way it would be easier for us to take on the boss because i believe they should be ready now so actually yeah, we'll do this. Um, we're going to stop after this thing. And then we're going to go to Monster Sanctuary. Because I want to try battling the boss. So we probably won't get anywhere. It'll probably fail. But I do want to try battling the boss. Just to see how it goes. Okay. I need to have some my wake up drink. <laughs> Wait, in case you're wondering, it's just Fanta. That is my wake up drink. It's also the only thing I drink now, but still, Fanta. And then, since I have it so often, I make sure to get the zero sugar one. It's kind of, it costs the exact same as the full fat one. Just means that I can at least feel like I'm being healthy. Sure, they, all they've done is taken out the sugar and replaced the sugar with chemicals. But still, kind of, I'd rather have the, uh, no, that sounds weird. Just about to say I'd rather add the chemicals and the sugar, but that just sounds weird. Well, if you understand what I mean. I hope. Okay. We are going to leave Donkey here. Okay, and... Okay, it's not in that bit.
Krass. Save this bit. Oh, okay, so. Alright, that bit's saved. Now let's just go on to. So if we go there. There we go. So. It has a little drop down bit that you can see through edit stream info and turns out that it doesn't lower it down enough so that you can clearly see the kind of save button which is taken up by the desktop which is always great yeah so we've got one more battle um, as you can see these all have skill points so we're gonna go through them so pigeon r we are going to level up his powers so we can either improve that bit that bit or we're gonna improve team type multi side uh, no we're gonna we're gonna make his buffs stronger uh, ninja we are going to improve this buff this buff Jesse, we are going to improve spectral. Yeah, we're going to make spectral flame stronger. Oh, we did the double tap again. Alright, so no go. We could make it so his attacks do more damage. Oh, okay, yeah, we're gonna do that because we've got we'll go against enemies that are weak against, them. and then this will make it so he does extra damage on everything rather than just the fire type moves. Okay, what should we do? Uh, shield restore. No, we don't need that one. Magic rating. Okay, we're gonna do. No, we're gonna. Actually, yeah, we'll be going against the fonts. So. Yeah, we're gonna do that one. And then just check these. I don't believe these have anything. Oh, okay, so. Oh, okay. Well, the Grummy has points, okay. We're just gonna go along and do all of these. That one, uh, the fire bug, the caterpillar, give him his face moves. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Alright, now then. Let's go against these guys. So we've got two that are weak against fire and the crystal snap. So we're going to go with Shinoko, Ninja, and we're going to go with Horsey as well. So his attacks do overall damage. More overall damage. So we're going to do both blast because it's using on the fact that the are weak against them. And then we're going to use Ninja's Fire Claws. And now, go. But I'm going to check which one it was so they were weak again. Um, because the Crystal Snell is weak against both air and water. So if we find that, so these are resistant, oh, only to grass, okay, we're fine then. Thinking don't accidentally be using one that they're resistant to. So, let's use both of glass again. Uh, we're going to use support because it provides regen. And now we're going to use gout. We're gonna lose then I go. Great. Um we're going to bring him back. And then we're going to use his to to So the combo potion Oh eight times two hundred. Okay, we don't need that that one. Gonna do just a regular potion effect. Alright, and now we're going to use gel. So okay, so he's protecting the first one. Okay, that's even better. So if we use explosive blast and then we use air sickle on him, so he'll take the damage. And air sickle does a lot of damage to them. And then we're going to use ice storm to provide the chill debuff. Alright, okay. explosive blast. And then we're going to use the port again. And we're going to use ice cream. Okay. Oh. Alright. Both the boss. Items. Phoenix there. Who is then going to use fire swords? Okay, we we're almost at the point where we've knocked out one of them. They've knocked out one of ours. And sickle. Items, and we're going to use Phoenix Steer again. Where we're going to use this move to do that. Okay. So he should be dead this turn. If I turn this right. He's not. Okay, so we're going to do that bit. We're going to stick with the multi ones for now. Because the Minotaurs will be dead. There we go. Okay. So we've just got the Snell. Gem Snell, who is going, we're going to use poison against them, and then we're going to have this one use support, and we're going to have this one use air support. Because it's just him, we don't need to do the multi attacks. We can just focus on this one. All right, so then. We are going to use Fireball Storm, Air Sickle, 
and it's a cool game. Alright, so here's the one here, more or less. That's gonna be fireball, and we did it! Here. So we're gonna go up this way. Um, yeah. Find out what it was we needed again. Yes. Nope. Raw hide. Okay. make our way back to the main bit because we're going to go and attempt to fight the boss. battle but regular battle which we could we should probably do them to get the experience but yeah we'll be fine there anyway. Okay. Oh, sugar. I have thoroughly got lost in this. I am completely and utterly lost. Okay, I see crystal. Okay. Yep, we want that one. Right. So we're in the ancient woods. I'm gonna jump over these. That was a close one. boss battle. So these are level 15. That's fine. We can deal with these. So they're weak against the normal moves which we've got. So just in case we're going to do a power up session and we're going to do... Oh, just in case. Now we're going to use claws. And we're going to do half the health. Yeah, I'm starting to think my internet might not like Minecraft anymore. Because this part of it isn't lagging. Yeah, I'm starting to... I, yeah. <laughs> right. Of course, my internet doesn't like Minecraft anymore. Oh, well. Okay, and we're going to spread. Oh, yeah. 
Alright, so we're gonna use his beating but on this one. And then we're gonna use shred. So yeah, and it does 5% more damage. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it can be useful and then now to kill them. So that was easy. Three turns, exactly. Oh, we got a new egg. Okay, got a goblin. So let's hatch. Oh, I know what we're calling it. We're gonna call it Dobby. We have to. Forget its actual name. Uh, so we have now got a goblin called no, not the OV. Called Dobby. What's his skill set? What's he got? He's got 16 points, so we've had him learn glory. Charity. Okay. So if you wanted to go after a goblin team then it would be better to have them learn Goblin Offence because it powers up all of them. Firecracker, okay. Explosive Blast, Dexterity Level 2. Giant Spain deals five more damage with health rating of seven higher. Okay. We're not going to be using this one in a match, so we're just doing random ones. Alright, so now let's see what's his ability. So burns finds, kindles torches, and activates fire orbs. Okay. So he's got fire powers basically. And go against these. Alright, so weak against melee attacks. That's fine. We can just stick with the same team really. We're going to use power and then support. And I'm just going to check their levels quick, I believe. Yep, level 15. Okay. And then we're going to use boss. I was just realizing I should really put the cat in third. Oh well. I'm gonna do beating and yeah, the cat. Alright, we're gonna take out this one. Nearly. We'll be out this turn. And then close. Okay. So we're gonna beat up this one. Great. He's dead next turn. Doesn't matter that he's that they've done poison because he's dead the sun. Three and a third turns. Okay. I could have played that out better. So we've got another goblin. Another two goblins. Okay, so first of all, we're going to hatch the goblin warlock. But I don't know what we'll call this. Um, oh, I think I know what to call it now. Um, I have to Google it quickly so it's actually called. Okay, I can get rid of this page. Alright, so where was it from? I believe it's the Razak. Nope, not 
that one. Um, right, so monsters in what was it called? Aragon. I don't care about that. Uh, I want to know about the monsters. I don't care about the actual characters. Please have a picture of them. I, I don't care about. Okay. Maybe not those. That would be better suited for the other one. Okay, so not the Razak. Um, we're gonna call that. We're gonna give that name to the other one. Sugar. All right. So. You know what? We're gonna call this one Gargamel then. So this one, we're going to call Razak, which is, I'm going to give it its capital. the official punctuation but they haven't got the official one there there we go all right so let's go to we'll see what skill this one's got old pulse buffin hill healing wave different so we're going to complete this string so we're going to go with this one we're going to complete their trees there we go all right now then let's see what this one's points are so he has glory oh i did that one Okay, never mind. Alright, then we've got this one, this one. Okay. So let's just have a look. Um right, to face Oh okay, yep, no, forget about the boss battle. Um, we've got some wolves to go against. Yeah, we, we, we've got some things to unlock. The boss battle can wait. Find the battle against these. We've got the beating. Fire claws. Down. 
Uh, we're gonna quickly swap out the can R for the new one. Uh, we're gonna swap you for Finoko. And then we're gonna use Fire Claws. So, on the next one that we've got, which we've called Gargamel because I couldn't think of a name. Anything. It activates the Lightning Orb, which I knew that was one of them. But I didn't know it was that one that did it. So now, we are just trying to get to the Lightning Orbs as quick as possible. You can come back to the boss battle because it will give more training us opportunities along the way. At the moment, we just need to get to the boss battle, or to the lightning orb. Need to unlock the new areas. We're trying to win this as to win this as quick as possible. New areas. Okay. We are just using their top attacks now. I get the amount of time this is taking. This is the prospect of unlocking new areas is more important than the star rating for this battle. So, I know where some of them are. Oops, not going along this route. Harder to dodge them. And do this bit. Straight up. Go under those ones. Okay, so we want. This one is closer. We want this one. Where we want to go all the way along because at the bottom of the blue area is where the area is that we need to get to so thankfully we unlocked from the blue side meaning that if we go down here we've got this bit in the blue caves uh, the grass all here's one of them lightning all There's a chest and combo potion. Okay, it's still quite good. Combo potion seems to be the best potion that we can get in the game. Let's see what's through here, what's through here. Okay. Boom. You got a green gem, blue gem, red gem. I think this is that we can get back in. What the? There's snakes and a man and what looks like a praying mantis. Okay, uh, we need the grass orbs, which is no, the earth orbs. This one. Whoa. All right. We're going to class this as a boss battle because we're going against two snakes and a praying mantis. Which is what we're going to call it. Other than the fact that their names are Suki and Black Riddow, or Blade Riddow, we're going to call them a snake and a praying mantis. So, two against four, two weak against water, one weak against grass. So we need... Let's see, we need okay, we're going to need Horsey there. And we'll take Tangles and we'll take Jesse. So, Horsey is going to use Apprentice because these are level 18, so we're going to need the boost. Uh, don't need that, we're going to use Shield. And now we're going to use Ice Storm. Alright. Horsey happens in a fire, but okay. he already lost power he hasn't been hit with a debuff and he's lost power okay 
So we're just gonna do this. Acid tempest. Ice tempest. We're gonna focus on getting rid of the snakes because the damage done as a whole will be enough to get rid of the frame man. And okay, I need to buff him up. So we're going to use Dime Shot against that one. Acid Tempest. And then I did kill some. Okay, just killed one of them. Killed two of them. And then Dime Shot. Acid Rain. Okay. Phew. Oh, I'm excited. New area. Gotta think of it anyway. We're in an Egyptian tomb. Almost. Look, it's a floating fish! Oh, we've got to get one of those. It's a floating fish! Yep. Oh, we're in the Sun Palace. What you see before you is a perfectly organised self into a fire -tone. When the monster sanctuary was created, each of the four spectral familiars contributed to the sanctuary in the rain. The power of the wolf created the forest of mountains. The power of the lion created the strongholds of all the other stone buildings of the sanctuary. And the eagle's contribution, the miniature sun of the sun. Ooh. Suspended at the top. Ice keepers don't know her. Sun Palace is meant to be a place of balance and underground for the Sun. An entire world that is in peace with itself. An ideal to strive towards within the sanctuary as well as within itself. But it is in danger. Oh! The sun's light has been haven been haven strings. It believes that someone's been tampering. If the balance of the Sun Palace is destroyed, the entire sanctuary will be made to like floods, storms and earthquakes. Okay. I hope you as a spectral keeper understand the severity and urgency of the situation. Yeah, it is pretty urgent or if the sun disappears, um it's well disturbed. Okay. We need to get his fish. That's the shiny block, the shiny thing. Okay, nope. Going back out of there. Alright, we're gonna uh, we need to get a little bit because we need to get a little waypoint set up here. The still ponds I treat. Oh, I think it's, it's, it's a half crocodile, half deer thing. Okay, all well, these guys. Um, in the trap. Okay. Oh, there we go. Orbs. Okay, and what does this one? Oh, not you. Your ice orbs. Do we have water orbs? There we go. Oh, but it's on the timer. Okay. Oh, so I think we have to do all of them and get round and get out. Oh, okay. That won't be good. Right. Activate that. No, oh, I'm just too slow. No, miss it. We can do this. This will be our last attempt, though, because this is the <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. We need faster shoes, mate. We need to be faster. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Hello again, this is the centre. The entire extended up. Someone has been going around the town. Gonna 
the end of it soon. Need to raise the tower so you can see the beautiful sun. Need to find the lovers. And he'll wait there. Okay, that, what we're going to do is we're going to interact with this. We're going to quickly go to the boss battle. And then I'm going to have to end it for today. But you can guarantee we'll be doing this again tomorrow. Because we've unlocked a new area. So you can guarantee I'll be doing this tomorrow. Yeah. Don't know what time I'll get on tomorrow. Because I, I still need to do arts and crafts bits that I meant to do but I haven't done yet. I'll try and get those done tonight. But yeah, my mum finished this thing and I kind of... Oh, sugar. Um, mine will battle them. Yeah, I turned the volume bits down because I thought that was her coming in. It turned out it wasn't, I think it was just up to her. It took... Okay. I think he has a poison stick. We're going to have to be more careful on where we step folks because like, we don't really have time for battling these ones. But we have to do it because I've run out of escape pods. Okay, so we've lost the cat. And let's do that one. Okay, we've won this turn. Alright. It's fine. Oh, he's got a new skill point. Okay. Quickly do skill point then. So we need to level him up so he's stronger. We're going to level up either air sickle or feather storm. Sets become six times five, so 270. Or two. We're going to do this one. Okay. We need the one that does some more damage. Oh, okay, those ones haven't been stopped. Let's just go through this. Um, equipment. You're full. You've got equipment. Okay, so we need mana ones. Yep. We're not going to give him an another mana, we're going to give... Let's see, where's one that will be damaged or defence? Actually, saw health there. Okay, and attack bits. So 110, we're going to go with the shuriken. Okay, and now if we just go to the food... Come back from Team Pools, Catalyst, Key Items. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Alright, so you want this one. And then we're going to give him an almond as well. And we want. Where is it? We want health. There we go. Okay, we're going to skip this so Mola says that we're the one, he's seen us before and we're the ones that have been interfering. So then, we want water, fighting and fire at the beginning. So we're going to go with that one, then Shenogo and then Jeffrey. Purely because we only get two turns. So, we're going to use Pigeon Art to power up, and then we're going to use Shinoko to do Explosive Blast, because this counts it as a trainer battle, rather than a kind of mos rather than the typical boss battle. So we get two turns where we go first, they get three, which is annoying, but we can't do anything about it. So now we're going to use beating on that one. 
then we're going to use explosive blast. And finally we are going to use a combo. Oh sugar! One. Okay, we have to hope that none of them attack him. No. Okay, he's dead. Alright, that's fine. It's gonna bring out a whole scene. Oh, two of them died. Great. And ninja. That, uh, okay, we might be doing this a second time. I'm gonna use slime bully. Explosive blast. And then we're going to use shred. I don't get that with him. He can. He seems to be able to revive himself just before he dies. Slime Bully. Explosive Blast. And Fire Claws. Tangles is up. And Slime Bully. Explosive Blast and we're gonna go solo first. Okay. We've lost this chat, we haven't won this unfortunately. We're good but not this good. Gonna buff the team. Push the buff. Play the buff. Oh, we just want to take out one more. If we can take out one more at least. Hopefully two more. One more. That's all I'm asking for. I believe we can do this. Oh my kid, I don't believe this. I know we can. Okay. Fireball now. Solar rays on him. Burn damage and poison damage. Oh my goodness, chat! We might be able to do this. Both brick to fire. Okay, that's good. So we're going to use Horsey to heal, and then we're going to use the other two as pure fire damage. We've got this, chat. We can do this. So right, he's going to do that one. He was supposed to heal, but I'll love Supposed to first. He needs to heal. Okay, they're doing, they're taking fire damage. Chat, we might have this after all. I knew I should have not have I should have kept from having hope. Alright, so then. items. Okay, we'll find out after the combo potion, but we still got the regular potion. I don't know what we've got. Infinity. Whoa! They fucked our team! He decided to buff our team and make it so we do more damage. We do have a lot of debuffs. That's fine. We 
We've got this attack. Gobbly. We've got this. Oh, so it's also given them the fast side. That's fine. That doesn't matter. That's fine. Because we've got luck on our side. But we've got belief. We can do this chat. With these three, we can win this. Good. We can do singular attacks. The singular ones are more powerful than the multi attacks. Surely because they're not having to share the power. This is fine. Go win. Fireball. We did it! Chat, we did it! We beat the boss! We did it, chat! We may have lost three in the process, but we did it! Oh, we got a rewards box. I'm assuming to get around to my top. Okay. okay. I don't know how this happened, Austin. He died. Our, our wolf died. And we beat you without the wolf. Yep, yeah, she can go battle him. We've battled him once. No, I don't. We're gonna have to battle him again. Seriously, how many boss battles does the game want me to do? Oh, sugar. All right. You know what? On that note, chat. We're gonna do the skill points quickly. Um, we're going to let's see. We're going to upgrade Shred because that one's quite weak. And then we're going to upgrade... I spear bully. We're going to get that one. Tangles is going to have an upgrade as well. Where we are going to upgrade Solar Burst because we use that one a lot. And Shinoko is getting a level 3 explosion. And on that note, chat, we are going to end it here. I was supposed to end five minutes ago, but oh well. Um, we beat the boss. I think we have to beat him again. So, not a massive victory, but still, we beat the boss. Finally. So... I will see you all tomorrow where we'll be doing more Monster Sanctuary because we've unlocked a new area to explore, we've still got the ice pit to explore and we've got to beat the... I think we have to beat the boss again. But we can do it. We had hope and we could do it. And we did it. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you all tomorrow.